Fight fans, so one of boxing's biggest fights is now in the books. We had Anthony Joshua versus Usyk. You know, not the greatest fight in the world, but definitely very entertaining as well. Usyk came out with the victory. Now we are on to one of boxing's biggest fights coming up, and that is part three, Triple G versus Canelo Alvarez. And I know it's pretty early, but you know what? We already seen these two scrap. We already seen these two go. These guys go at it. Um, these two had some really good history with each other. These guys had some wars with each other. You know, I believe these two are definitely each other's equal. That first fight, guys, I hate to admit it, I am a ride or die Canelo fan. I am a true, true, true fan of this um, of Canelo. Comes from um, my hometown, my motherland, Jalisco, Guadalajara. I definitely support him in everything. I've always been a big fan of his ever since I saw him knock out Carlos Valdemir. Um, yeah, I go far back with Canelo. But I got to say that first fight, I do believe he lost. I do believe he lost. I do believe Triple G was the much stronger guy, the much more um, technical guy, guy in that fight. And I do feel like maybe it was a little much for Canelo at that time. You know, even though it was, they both were at the same size, they both had their fights coming into there. Uh, I do feel that Triple G was just bigger and stronger than Canelo anticipated. I do feel like, you know, each each shot Canelo was getting hit with, the uh, he felt those power shots. You know, you can see in his face, it was just like, whoa. And we seen Canelo, you know, with his, with his ability to knock out people. You know, we saw what he did with Amir Khan. We saw what he did with James Kirkland. We saw what he did with Callum Smith. Um... So prior prior to going into those fights, but I think Triple G was more up there fighting more bigger guys because you got to remember, Canelo fought most of his um, time at junior middleweight. Then he went up to middleweight and started making somewhat of a name for himself up there. While Triple G was at middleweight and was the middleweight king for a very long time. You know he knocked out the guys like you know he stopped guys like Kell Brook, Matthew Macklin. Um, he had a very tough fight against Daniel Jacobs. So. Yeah, Triple G was definitely in there getting hit by stronger guys and bigger guys than Canelo. So going into that first fight, I do feel, even though it was a draw, I do feel Triple G got the nod. Going into the second fight, I do 100% feel Canelo got that victory. Got that victory. It was still a very close fight, very tough fight. But I do feel like in the later rounds, uh, Triple G did fade. You know, he saw that, you know, Canelo finally grew into this middleweight uh, division. He finally packed on that muscle mass that he needed to, got built up this punching power, and was able to withstand those punches that Triple G was giving him. And, yeah, I think that surprised Triple G a little bit more. Like, oh, damn, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. So, I do feel like he backed up a little bit and kind of played it just a little bit safe because he saw that what he was doing wasn't, wasn't necessarily backing up Canelo anymore. You know, that's just what I saw. I know other people see something different, but that's just me personally. So now we go into part three. Um, definitely a few years in the making. Quite a, quite some time has passed since these two guys have went at it. You know, uh, Canelo has definitely become, is the biggest boxing star aside from Tyson Fury. You know, he's had some really great wins. Um, and the likes of, you know, he won that light heavyweight title against Sergey Kovalev. He's defended his title. He went against Billy Joe Saunders. Kayla Plant, um, you know, the list goes on and on for Canelo. And uh, he had that unfortunate loss against um, Dimitri Pivol. And it was, it was a completely one-sided loss. I do feel Pivol was just way too bigger for that division for Canelo. Canelo is a much more smaller guy. I think he walks around like a 5'9". He is not unnecessary a natural light heavyweight. I believe his uh, go-to weight class is super middleweight, which this fight is contested at. And we got Triple G, who has had some layoffs and has had maybe, I want to say, about four fights since 2019. All victories, of course, um, but has not looked the exact same. Has not looked the exact same since that second fight. You know, even though some of these fights he did go, where some of them he did stop his opponents, like his last victory, I believe, I believe his name is Amarora. I believe it was in Japan back in April. And uh, he did stop him in the ninth round, but Triple G has been getting hit a lot more. And Triple G is getting older. You know, boxing is definitely a young man's sport. 
um, because you do rely a lot on your reflexes you do rely a lot on your speed and you know power as you get older is the last thing to go but if you don't got that reflexes you ain't got that speed unfortunately um, you're not gonna be able to withstand the punches that are gonna come on you you're not gonna be able to let your go your punches as fast as as quick as you want to go but nonetheless let's still not count out triple G that's not because triple G again is a very strong very tough fighter very very tough and you gotta also remember this you know Canelo just came off a loss you know he wants to rematch that uh, that fight with Dimitri Pivol but I think he wants to take care of this triple G business first so here's where we got to come into play this is why it's interesting now we saw how Canelo was against Bivol even though it was a different weight class and he was much smaller than Bivol is this loss going to affect Canelo you know is it going to affect him to the point where you know maybe Father Time's finally catching up with Canelo maybe he's not going to be as fast anymore as re his reflexes ain't going to be there as much anymore um, but what about Triple G now? You know, is he older? Is he slower? Has things caught up with him as well? So that's why things are more of an even playing field, playing field, if you ask me. You know, before, everyone was going into this like, oh, yeah, Canelo's just going to knock him out. Canelo's going to knock him out. And I do feel Canelo's going to win this fight. That's my pick. But I do see, see that things are kind of evening out right now. Because you got to remember, Canelo, as good as he is, he just still did not have an easy time with Triple G. You know, and even though Triple G has had not the greatest victories, but still a very tough fighter, a very tough fighter, very tough boxer, and very dangerous. And Canelo knows that. Canelo does want to prove a point that he's still in this, that he's still one of the best um, fighters, boxers in boxing today. Um, so he is going to go in there and try to prove a point. He is one, he wants to go in there because he does hear this criticism about how he, how he lost that first fight and how he possibly even lost that second fight. So he does want to put that nail in the coffin and straight up say, you know what? I'm going to finish this guy. I'm going to show you guys that I am better than he is. 100% better than he is. So he walks in there and he does this. He does the unthinkable and knocks Triple G out. That is definitely big, a big statement for him, Canelo. 100%. But... If he goes in there reckless, he could get stopped by uh, Triple G himself. Because, again, Triple G um, feels he should have won that first fight. Probably thinks he should have won that second fight. Maybe. Again, I don't agree. So he wants to go in there and show he's better than Canelo. So this is why this is very exciting, guys. And I'm going to keep posting about this. I'm going to keep talking about this because I am super excited for this fight. I'm going to that weigh-in. I'm going to see if I can even go to that fight. But I am very, very excited for this fight. I am very excited for this coming up. It comes up September 17th. I can't wait for it to happen. This is the final showdown, I believe. Could they do it another time? Maybe. I don't know. But I am looking forward to part three. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you got? Do you got Canelo? Do you got Triple G? Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.